Hello. Hello. Welcome back. It has been six months, at least. And the world is almost over. <laughs> it's almost over. <laughs> Welcome to Pandemic Life. It is nice to spend time with you. Yes, very much so. I feel like as much as maybe people would have thought, I feel like our cohorting was was distanced in the safety yeah. of the world. I think like everyone should have. Yeah, I, I mean, we did spend a lot of time together, but we did it outside of homes, yeah. mostly. So welcome to my place. Thank you so much. For the first time in a very long time. You've painted. I, I did and paint. put up new fixtures. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like pandemic was reno life. Yeah, productive. Yeah. I did nothing productive. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, you know, obviously we're going to talk about coffee. And I do admire, and I, I think there's a few coffee companies that really went out of their way during the pandemic to, uh, like, help people out. Yeah, and continue to do it. Yeah. Like, one of my favorite, Roasty in yeah. Sherwood Park, offered free delivery. Yeah. And same, like if you ordered before noon, it showed up on your doorstep at two o'clock. It was amazing. They would come so in a bag and have a mask on and gloves and... Yeah, ring your doorbell and run. Yeah. The best kind of delivery. I got coffee delivery from the Colombian. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, Rogue Wave. Yep, I had just Rogue Wave as well. And I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I got free coffee delivery from. But I did love that it was a quick turnaround. I would order four bags at a time, really try to make it worth my while and make it worth their while. Yeah. And so, shout out. And because there was a few times where my brain was not fully functioning, so I'd make coffee and recycle my coffee bag and think, I should order coffee, and then didn't. So then I would wake up in the morning and open my coffee cupboard and there was no beans. And so the prompt delivery and or curbside pickup, because I did that a few times for oh, a few okay. roasters, um, was great. Yeah. Amazing. For my... Absent mind. I am looking forward to getting to the point where we can go back to a coffee shop and sit in it. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's a different story. Yeah. Today, we were uh, trying... I am very curious about this yeah. coffee. Uh, Mystery coffee for yeah. Chris. You were gifted this from a mechanic that we actually both yeah. go to. Volkswagen's forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's kind of an odd story. I, my car needed some love and attention this week, so I went in for an oil change, and as I was leaving, um, our wonderful mechanic, Neil, um, said, hey, are you and Crystal doing the coffee vlog? To which I responded, yes, we are actually planning on starting that back up. He said, great, and then threw me a bag of coffee and said, let me know what you think. And I said, oh, interesting, where did this come from? And he said, a guy roasts it in the back of my shop. <laughs> a guy roasts it in the back of his shop? Yeah. Oh my god, this is brand new. Uh, yeah, so Rising Oceans Coffee Co. is a guy named Daniel, um, who started it in 2019. And uh, yeah, apparently uses, I mean, I haven't been to the back of a nail shop, so I don't really know. Um, hey, Pete. <laughs> So I don't really know like what the layout is, but apparently uses his shop space uh, to roast beans. So that was roasted. Uh, Neil thinks it was last Sunday. Yeah, there's no date on this. Yeah, so I think so. What Neil had said is that he roasts it and then will leave bags for Neil. And apparently he's getting overwhelmed with how much coffee he has to drink, and so he thought he would shed the love. Rising Oceans Coffee Company. Yeah, and so did a little research. 2019, it was started. Um, this guy Daniel had done lots of uh, traveling to coffee company or countries and was inspired and decided to start and then the other cool thing is he gives back so pro, a portion of proceeds from bag sales goes uh, to education in the um, countries that the beans come from as well as environmental causes Wow yeah I, I love the name Rising Oceans Coffee I love I don't know if I like the sentiment of that because it, it is the sad global warming of the oceans are rising, but I like the name. Oh, oh I didn't even know that. Yeah. Hmm. This is a Colombian coffee. It has notes of dark chocolate, lemon, blackberry, and raspberry. Um, 
packaging's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. I feel like that doesn't make sense for a startup. Got a bit of a sticker that they lay on the bag. Yeah. Um, clean bag though, it's printed. It's resealable, which we both quite like. Yeah, I've got the valve. Got the old valve. Um, I'm gonna say putting this in my coffee grinder, mm -hmm. it is a very, very dark bean. Very dark. Have you tasted it yet? I have. Okay. Uh, it is probably the darkest roasted coffee bean I have seen in a very, very long time. Yeah. So if you like that, I find this to be a very old school, strong coffee. Yeah, like almost reminiscent of like a, um, a Sumatra from the S-Bucks or like really Italian roast. Yeah, oh, it's, it's definitely, that's like what leans to me is always thinking about these Italian roasted coffees that are mm -hmm. very dark. Um, you know, it left grease inside of my grinder because yeah. the beans, it, it's roasted to the point where the oils are escaping from the bean and then coating the outside of the bean. I, I almost actually thought it was like espresso, chocolate covered espresso beans or something. So I feel like this is, there is a market for this <clears throat> and I know it. And people yeah. at work are like, I love going to like Sorrentino's and their coffee yeah. and the Italian center. And, um, I mean, it, there's a place for that sometimes. Totally. It's a very drinkable coffee. It doesn't seem to be like overtly offensive on the mouth. No, it's not as, it smells very, very strong. But I would say it's more pleasant on the palate than it smells. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this... I don't know why, but it reminds me of like a percolated coffee at a Ukrainian wedding. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, oh, my Facebook memory this morning was um, recovering from a Ukrainian wedding. There you go. Yeah, lots of... It's been a while since I've been to one. Yeah, it was in Vegreville. Mm, Vegreville. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I appreciate it. I shout out to Neil at the... Yeah. Uh, if you ever need a mechanic, we'll put the link or his shop name and, yeah. and details below so you guys can go see an amazing local mechanic. Everyone needs one and I think I've been going to Neil for years and he's amazing. So thanks, Neil. Yeah, thank you, Neil. And thanks for sharing this. I think, uh, you know what I think for me, I think we're both similar. I think when something is Italian roasted, I do find it makes an unbelievable cold brew. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll turn this into a cold brew and then have coffee for like, I don't know, two days like I, <laughs> not a long I'll have time to say a week but it's not going to be yeah cool and I feel like we should maybe share like some of the cool things that may be upcoming like you made a recent large purchase I did yeah we'll Just shoot a video I, I I got a, a really nice uh, coffee appliance and I'm in the process of procuring another nice coffee appliance so I feel like I'm upping my coffee game during the pandemic I just forgot to buy beans and lived a sad coffee life. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some more fun stuff coming and then, um, I don't know, here's to coffee. So hopefully you've been drinking coffee. Yeah. I assume people being at home drink more coffee. That's my assumption. That's great. We should put a poll up. Yes. Have you drank more coffee during the pandemic because yeah. you're at home or less coffee? Because maybe some people just drink coffee at work endlessly because yeah. it's always on the go. Right. But some of you probably work at places where you have to pay for it. Yeah. Like at my work, don't have to pay for it. It just appears. It does. It tastes similar to this, actually. It tastes... Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? <laughs> Absolutely, Siri. <laughs> oh, boy. So we'll be back with more coffee tools, tips, tricks. If there's something else you want us to talk about, yeah. just let us know. If there's more coffee to try, I love the fact that it's another local roaster, so... Yeah, I'm into it. Get an oil change and get some coffee beans. And remember to stay home. <laughs> and, and wear a mask. Wear a mask and be safe. Yeah. See you guys. See ya.